Today we're going to restore hard plastic, rubber, and vinyl trim pieces. This was the question of the day back in episode 15. What to use to bring plastic, rubber, and vinyl back to life? Lots of great feedback from you, and we'll look at some of the suggestions with more detail. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of some of the options. Before I get the weather strip series started, I want the rear quarter interior panel and rear quarter plastic trim pieces to be ready to receive their felt and rubber weather strips. So brew yourself a cup of joe or pop open a cold one and let's talk shop. Strut tower caps. These are my original caps. Just um, soaked them in armor all. It kind of worked. This was prior to my question of the day that had the query about what would you use on plastic and rubber? So yeah, I did dabble with Armor All, and Armor All is fairly pedestrian, gives minimal results. There we go. My wife heard me filming and editing the question of the day for episode 15. I come home from work the next day and find a bottle of Mother's Back to Black sitting on my workbench. A few days later, a bottle of Black Wow was delivered. Kudos to the lovely lady for pitching in. Let's see how these two stack up against each other. Okay, first tests on the trim restorer. These are the A-pillar trims. Uh, the one on top has clearly not been touched yet. 38-year-old piece, it's discolored. And the one on bottom has been rejuvenated with Mother's Back to Black. It took a lot. It took three coats, and I'm talking three generous coats, uh, in order to get this result. I've used a third of this bottle, which is 12 fluid ounces, on just this one piece of plastic. That's how much it took, because the plastic soaks it right up. And that's why it eventually looks amazing, because once it's soaked enough in, you know, it looks brand new. That's the whole idea. Got the Black Wow in. You check that out, compare it to Mother's Back to Black. See what we got. Well, this top piece has already been done with yo mama. Smells good too. Smells like candy. That's just wrong. I want to eat it. You know, I love that they give you a terry cloth, but terry cloth just sucks it up. So, I've got some microfiber gauze pads here from my place of employment. I'm gonna use them. So the Black Wow has been sitting for about a week and a half now. It's soaked in well. And I've got to say, one coat of Black Wow equals three of Mother's Back to Black. Gonna use a second coat. And it's gonna look freaking amazing, I'm expecting. So we're good. I think we found a winner. Got some pieces of hard plastic and rubber. They're all dirty. Gonna clean them up. And look at all the dirt and grime on that puppy. Pretty dirty. And these guys, pretty filthy. Pinch weld, you know, you can buy new pinch weld. You know, that's the seal that goes around the door frame. There's nothing wrong with my old stuff aside from it being dirty. But I've discovered Black Wow, which makes stuff like that look brand new. And I know how to clean it. And you know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff? It's going in the dishwasher. Because the dishwasher works great at cleaning plastic and rubber. Seriously, this is how you clean dirty stuff. Looking clean. Clean as can be. It works great. Needs a little shine with Black Wow, and then all is gonna be good. Yeah, this dry old plastic just sucks it right up. It wants to be fed, it's thirsty. So this is a trim that goes behind the C pillars, interior, before the rear glass. Coat number one. I mean, it looks great now, but it's gonna look even better after I put the second coat on them. Wait a week for that. It takes a good week, maybe even two, to really suck up coat one. We don't know why I'm doing the back. I just am. Weird. Heater duct, cleaned up nice. Pretty much looks new. Apparently this is the left side. It's got an L right on it. 
These are behind the driver's passenger seat, down by the floor, they get kicked. Pretty darn good shape. Looks brand new now. Man, I love this stuff. Now if I could just get Black Wow to endorse me, pay me for advertising their product, it would be huge. And I can happily say I'm using this because it's great, not because they paid me. I've got two sets of um, armrests or door grips, if you will. One set's in better shape than the other. You know, the foam just seems to be in better shape on the one with the, uh, with the black bracket. The one with the white bracket, you now the foam's just a little funny on it. Doesn't seem to be as well intact. They're both in good shape. You know, and I didn't keep track of which came off of which car. I just kind of took them off both cars, threw them in a bag. So now that I see that they're slightly different, you know, just in their manufacture, it would be interesting to know which one's which, but I didn't keep track, so. But I think I'm gonna end up using these here. They just look like the foam's in better shape. And what I'm gonna do, they cleaned up really nice. I'm gonna hit them with black, wow. Got my little microfiber gauze here. You know, they suggest using a terry cloth. I've mentioned this before. The terry cloth just sucks up a lot of this stuff. It's expensive. I'd rather not half of the product go into the cloth. And as usual, I expect the part to absorb a bunch of this, so we'll probably put one on, one coat on today, and I'll let it sit a good week, apply a second, and as I found out on my A-pillar trim when I first started using this stuff, Two coats was pretty much enough. You know, if it ever needs a third, I'll do it. No big deal. Bored about Black Wow on things like armrests or anywhere you're gonna sit, Black Wow does leave an oily film. So if you're gonna put it on an armrest, you're definitely gonna wanna wipe it dry prior to actually installing it into the car. You don't wanna get in your car and your nice $200 Ralph Lauren polo black label long sleeve shirt just to find out now you've got an oil stain from the Black Wow. You might be a little upset about that. So give these types of parts, like an armrest, two coats of Black Wow. It'll soak in, rejuvenate, it'll be beautiful. But right before you put it on the car, get a nice soft terry cloth and wipe it down so that you can remove any residual that didn't soak in. Be much safer for your clothes. Let's talk about pinch weld. Um, it's also referred to as inner door seal. There's a couple of guys on eBay that sells it. Pretty cheap. It's like 40 bucks coming out of Thailand. Reproduction, of course. It's 40 bucks, 30 bucks shipping to the United States, so 70 altogether. I'm using my old pinch weld. Now, this is also referred to by Mazda as seaming weld. So, pinch weld, seaming weld, inner door seal, call it what you will. But after a good clean in the dishwasher, mine is pretty darn good looking. And after I hit it with Black Wow, it's going to look brand new. So I like that I'm going to be able to reuse original Mazda equipment. Let's get it on. I do expect this to absorb it pretty good, just like the hard plastic trim pieces on the car. I'll hit it again. It needs a second coat. But man, that looks brand new. It just looks great. You know, for lots of rubber things, I just put a thin layer at the bottom of a container and then lay my rubber in there. Let it soak for weeks. This is a footrest for the bottom rim of a fuel tank. It's in fine shape, not cracked. Gonna use it again, just want it to look pretty. These are rubber pads that go on the rear of the fuel tank. 73 and 74, they're rubber. Um, the actual 76 did not have these rubber pads. What the 76 had were fibrous cushions. You know, kind of like that flame retardant fiber. Here's a lot of other rubber and plastic that I restored with Black Wow. So I've got things like grommets. These concave washers go with the interior trim piece screws. These plastic clips help hold down rubber trim in the engine bay. You can buy new ones of these fairly reasonably, but it's like, you know what, just throw them in the black. Wow, it's fine. So I cleaned up all my little uh, rubber grommets that go with the turn signals. Door lock mechanism bezel. These are grommets and retainers that go with the windshield wipers. 
you know, all very old and brittle, not replaceable. Got to try to rejuvenate what you own. This guy here you might recognize as a plug that goes in the bell housing where the tranny is. These are wiper washer items. These are extra grommets that go on the rear brake line shield on the differential. Extra set of those. These guys here are hood latch bumpers. So this one I actually had to fix because it was torn with the rubber here. And I just glued it with Mr. Glue. I got a tiny little segment I'll include on that. This was in two pieces. So I got some rubber glue called Mr. Glue's Instant Glue. This stuff really works. The brakes were right here on the two corners. You know, I can squeeze the shit out of this. And that bond is solid. So, yeah, Mr. Glue freaking works. And then a couple of little brake bleeder caps. All these little nubbins that go at the end of the cowl. They're all clean and looking new. A little rubber that goes on the hood latch. Uh, this guy here, uh, fuel lines go through here. This kind of stabilizes fuel lines underneath where the fuel pump is. Now this was kind of brittle. Like you can see a crack there. I'm actually going to fix that crack with the same Mr. Glue that I used to fix the hood bump stop. So that's about to happen. And the Black Wow really soaks in enough here to to take a brittle piece of rubber and moisten it up and keep it from any further damage. So that'll be cool. And the fuel pump mounts, those are brand new, so I didn't have to treat those. But yeah, there's some other things that I hit with the Black Wow, and um, yeah. For vinyl treatment, YouTuber Keith rx 3 c said, go with the VHT vinyl die. He even provided a link to the exact product. Thanks, Keith, that was a great help. Fernando Rivera Acevedo said, SEM Landau Black is a matching color of original parts. And Juan Alcantar also provided a link and said, SEM had been recommended by upholstery shops. Thanks for the link, Juan. You guys really made the shopping easy. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two products. Keith RX3C said, try VHT vinyl dye. So we're gonna give it a go. Now reading the directions, it says to use grease and wax remover first. That way we can lift any contaminants that are on there. Let me start where this wicked, wicked spot is. And you're going to want to have a clean, dry rag handy to wipe this off with. And you want to wipe it off while it's wet. Because while it's wet, it's lifted all the contaminants off the surface. vinyl dye direction say to use scotch bright pad to rough it up a little bit. It recommends red scotch bright. I don't have red. It's getting blue. You know, it's the rough side. What this grease and wax remover is going to do is pull up any kind of silicone or any kind of coating that was ever put on these door panels or whatever you're using though on armrests dashboards, seats. You know, if anybody ever went to the car wash and they sprayed armor all on it, you gotta get that off. It leaves a residue. And the directions say that after you hit it with the scotch bright, you hit it with the grease and wax remover once again. So I'll do that. It says to apply two light coats and then a medium wet coat. All three coats to be applied within an hour. So boom, boom, boom. That's what I'll be doing. It's been, uh, all three coats have been applied and it's wrinkled. Looks pretty good though, overall. Looks pretty good. It looks brand new, essentially. So, VHT vinyl dye seems to work well. It does kind of make it look like it's leather, the way it wrinkles like that. So after the VHT vinyl dye dried, that wrinkled look went away. So it's actually looking like a brand new panel now. Looking really good. VHT vinyl dye, winner. Okay, here's the rear panel for the left side of the car. 
Gonna hit it with the SEM. Sem. It ended up coming from a bike shop and took two months in the hands of the US Post. But it's finally here. So the SEM doesn't come with any instructions. I'm gonna follow the exact same instructions as the VHD vinyl die came with. And that was to hit it with a grease and wax remover first. within an hour. So just like the VHT vinyl dye, the Landau when it's wet, you know, everything wrinkles up. Kind of looks like leather, which is cool, but you know, that's not how the car looked. And just like the VHT, I do expect that it'll flatten out once it's dry. We should be okay. One of the very few times I can get away with bringing auto parts into the house. My lovely lady was helping me sort out what to use for the chrome strip here. The Sem Landau Black has a shinier finish than the VHT vinyl dye. VHT is more of a black matte finish. And the Sem Landau Black, I think you can see that shine. Trying to wrap up the rear quarter business, I'm going to go with the VHT vinyl dye in a gloss because I did like the look of the Landau from SEM, the gloss. So I got a VHT vinyl dye in, in gloss black. Going to redo this rear quarter. So I hit it with Duplicolor Prep Spray, grease and wax remover. And then you wipe it off while it's wet. I am in a well ventilated area. Pretty much prepping a fresh paint. Now, when I say fresh, this is like nine months ago, which is good because Duplicolor doesn't really want you using their grease and wax remover on a fresh paint, a fresh coat. They, right on the can it says six months at least. So I waited, well, it's not that I waited, that's how long it took me to figure out what I wanted to do and get the right stuff. So here it is. So again, this SEM, the SEM Landau Black worked great. Uh, it's pricey though. VHT vinyl dye is half the cost, so I'm in. So now I have two gloss black rear quarter door cards. I'm going to say that these two versions of gloss black vinyl dye are compatible. They're going to look just fine in the same car. So the one on the right is the Sem Landauer Black. The one on the left is VHT vinyl dye. Half the price. Now I just need to re-strip the chrome trim down the center and these will be good to go. At this point, the only thing left to do is apply the chrome tape to the interior panels. Should be pretty easy, but that came with its own set of issues. Since this episode is all about restoring black plastic, rubber, and vinyl, we're gonna tackle the chrome tape in its own episode. That way I can show you a few things that didn't work and what I eventually ended up doing to make it work. That is the next episode to look for, followed by an episode on plating. I've recently changed platers, and we'll talk about why and how I went about that. After that, we take on weather strip, starting with the boot seal. And that's where I'm gonna end this episode, which brings us to the question of the day. I'm just about to get started working on the headlamp surrounds and the grill. Original color for my vehicle is a dark charcoal black. I've been thinking about modifying this to go with the gray look, but I'd love to know what you think about that. Should I stick with the black charcoal, or should I switch over to the gray you see on some Mazda RX-3s? Please chime in in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about which way you'd go and why. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. Watch my previous episodes. And don't miss out on the upcoming plating, weather strip, fuel tank, and electrical episodes. Peace out, brother.